Hey guys, I welcome you all. I know you were curious about the next video and when I'll be starting the coding. So here I'll start coding in this video. We will be creating our first project in the Lynx JS. I'm using Windows machine. You can do it on Mac as well. So without wasting a time, let's get started. So first of all, you have to open a repository or folder that you will be creating project in. By the way, the currently opened project is also a Lynx project. You can simply press Ctrl K and O to open any folder and create a folder wherever you want to place your project in. So I have created a specific folder for this tutorial. If you also want to know the keyboard shortcuts, that will make your development so so much fast let me know in comment i'll make one specific video for all shortcuts that will boost your development before proceeding to the next you should have node installed or you can use other alternative as well like yarn pnpm or bun i'll be using bun in this video this is the official website of links.js this is a command to create a new links project now you can copy the command or you can directly write the command in your terminal so I'll be using bun so bun create rspd we will be seeing what's rspd in the next videos you want a latest version bun create rspd at the rate latest and dot add a dot so that my two to one folder will be used as a project but uh, i think it's the dot is not being recognized so links is saying to give the project name so let's give the project name rspd project suggested but i want to use some different creating a project or uh, just uh, simply use the project one hit enter i'll select javascript or prettier for code formatting and then let's change directory to project using command cd project one and i'll use code dot command to open our project one folder at the base instead of using its ancestors it's a good practice to open our project folder as a base in this case tute one is an ancestor if we click on plus icon to create new terminal that won't be create a terminal for its parent and we don't have to change the directory again and again so let's install the dependencies use bun install command if you're using npm then npm i or npm install all these configuration files and the folder structure will be covered in the next video uh, this links.config.js file This package.json, I hope you all know this, and app.js. So, all the dependencies are installed. I hope all the letters are correctly visible. Now, let's run the project using bun run dev command npm run dev for npm users. Just like React Native has expo, we will be using one app by links.js to view our project on the mobile you can see the qr code on the screen given by the official links.js documentation you can download the app from here for android or ios as well now you can see the links explorer app on my mobile screen and scan the QR code that is given on your terminal after running the app.
and congratulations you just ran your first links.js app now try changing some content inside your app just like i changed the logo text from logo to subscribe sorry guys charging issue i'll be show you from run part bun run dev or npm run dev you will get a qr code on terminal scan that qr code in your links explorer app here in the qr code so got your app now i'll change many things in app just give a red color now you can see a direct change in your app i'll give this yellow color change nap i think red is better now i'll change some text part we change the subscribe here i'll enter links tutorial which is our channel's name on youtube channel you can see the exact change reflecting on mobile immediately so you can change anything this was just a basic project we will be exploring back end with bootstrap in this and front end legs js and building a full stack project and deploying that project so stay tuned and subscribe our channel press the bell icon and like this video if you found it helpful thank you stay connected see you in the next video